Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some over campaign E4. This is the Schizophrenic Sovereignty campaign in E4. I uh, I did a couple clicks between episodes, stole some money from the burgers, revoked the thing from Baron. Um, I placated or whatever with the nobles to get them loyal again. Last thing we're going to do is grant generalship, I think, and uh, see what we get. We got a 304. Not very good. Next up, we're looking for enough war score here. Within two months, I think he'll peace out. He'll gain, we'll gain one more war score. He'll get a little bit more um, length of war will reduce. So probably January 1st, we can peace out with England. So I guess we improve relations with people over the annual tick. Improve here. Get a nice amount of spy strength against Gascony. I have no idea why Castile's decided to put his entire army down there, but okay. Yeah, of course, of course, I say we get a nice amount of spy strength with uh, that guy, and then we instantly lose it. We should have four out of four relations. Milan's royal marriage is going to stick around for a while. Whatever. I mean, we had favors and stuff with him, and he's usually decently strong, but he's only got the four provinces he starts the game with, I think. No, I think he doesn't start with Brescia, but still. Eh, I don't want to get pulled into a war over in Italy. It just seems dumb. All right, 25 war score. Negative one reasons, okay? I was wrong. Not January. Gotta wait a little bit longer. We have until May 1st. So, this needs to end, England. I have things to do. Lawrence just got full annexed. Not now. Next month. Lucka just got knocked out of the war. Wait, is Savoy winning? No. Is Cremona being sieged? It's not. The capital is about to fall, though. And then Cremona will fall in no time, and then there's no other forts. No, that's not true. There's a fort in Mentua. Alright, that's March. That's that's you accepting the peace deal, sir. Oh, you bastard. Okay, fine. One more tick so we get one more war score. We're cutting it so close. April 1st. <laughs> I only have until May. Come on. Peace out. You bastard. You will accept with our 26 war score. Thank you. So, he's going to give this land to Castile. He's going to give us war reps. Now, Castile wants land. We are at peace. Castile is at peace. This this could be awful. I, I, I don't actually know if this is a good idea. We are all on tech 11. France is on tech 10. So we have a tech advantage. Except not with Gascony. Are there any mothballed forts we can try to jump on? There is one behind Out Patu, but we can't get to it because of the zone of control. We try to march in from this direction. Actually, would we be allowed to go through Gascony? We go through Perigard. Into Limousin. The zone of control from Hout Patu will not not um, penetrate the borders. So then from there we should be able to go into this province. That sets our return province to here. But this one's within two provinces of the return province, so I think we might still be able to march on Anjou. I don't know, it'd be really risky to march up in there though. Probably not worth trying to risk it. I'll, I'll maybe do it. We're going to declare the war anyway. This is like the only way we can make anything happen. So we have to fight the knights. They don't matter. Ferrara, whatever. Siena, doesn't matter. Galray, doesn't matter. These people are all too small, too small, far away. Um, I don't think that they matter. Actually, Castile will not come in on a promise of territory because it would destabilize France. Uh, destabilize Castile. Excuse me? Why would this destabilize Castile? They must have really high relations. They have more than 100 relations. Damn it! Well, that should update... Pronto, okay? Because, like, they... There we go. That's what I want to see. Friendly, but... Wants your province. Negative 33. 
So the Castilian opinion of France is high, but the French opinion of Castile is not high. So now it would no longer destabilize you. Yes. Okay, it wouldn't destabilize you anymore, but your attitude is still friendly. But you want his land, you derp. Look at those juicy war reps. Four point something ducats. Well, I guess let's just go till May the 1st and then let's click and just see what happens. We've lost a CB there. We've gained conquest against Castile. Um, maybe they rival each other. Hopefully those cores will do something like that. Um, looks like I won't be able to declare the war that I wanted to. Steel being in debt is just silly. Okay, well, we, we've set ourselves up for Castile to um, to be the antagonist of France and for Armenia to hopefully survive a while longer. And also, we've, we've really bumped our development up quite a bit. We've got 28 and 23, so I'm hoping that Armenia doesn't just, like, suddenly decide, yeah, I'll become Castile's vassal. Because I don't want that. We're going to play now as Balanus. Nice. We get to play in India. Okay, let's check around the world a little bit, see how things are looking. We're not going to go through and like spend a huge amount of time on everyone. We already saw that Z was doing okay. They got some rebels, some Tlaxcala and Separatists, but they seem to be doing fine. They're a little bit behind on tech. Wayla still doesn't exist and is dead. This guy... This guy's... He's got some issues with the, the nobles' estate, but that's probably not a big problem. He finished Minas Garius. He still has this colony about to finish. It looks like... Despite having two colonists, I'm only seeing... One colony. I'm, I'm guessing he is not able to afford... For some reason, what did you... What did you do? You should be able to afford two colonies. Tupanamba. Tupanamba makes 6.76 ducats a month. You should have two colonies, sir. Why do you have not two colonies? Or are you colonizing somewhere stupid, like an island somewhere? No, he's just he's just doing one. Okay, whatever. Kazembe! Look at Kazembe! Check it out, dude! Kazembe is kicking ass! Look at this African beast! It's awesome. Um, we also played it as Austria at one point. Austria seems to be doing just fine. They're being Austria. They have only passed the two reforms because they were too stupid to do the Polish peace deal properly and Imperial land looks wrong still. Great job there, guy. Lundberg still exists. He still has uh, 36 development. He actually picked up, picked up Hamburg and uh, he's full courted as well. So maybe we'll see a rise from Lundberg at some point in the past. He's got these cores to give back. Will these ever expire? 1653. He's got 100 years on that core. What about this one? 1660, 69. Okay, and then this is the, the most important one. 1669. Yeah, so he's got over 100 years to, to contest these. Maybe we'll see him re reestablish himself. Okay, we also played as Kara. Ottomans is still playing nice with Kara. They are not deciding to murder anyone yet. He's marched Basra. Nice. Cool. He's actually growing. He's got a little subject now. They were allies the last time we checked, I think. Okay, we played as Ming. Ming is being Ming. Let's check institution spread. Colonialism is, um... It's kind of coming in from both directions now. Because of the Portuguese colonial nation. You know what would have been interesting? If I had killed the Portuguese colonial nation before Portugal had actually gotten colonialism, we might have been able to delay the spread of colonialism in all of Europe. Because no one else has colonies. How's Ming's colonial game looking? Someone wanted me to look at this before. They did colonize, they, they finished Taiwan, and then they did up here, this province, and then they went into Hawaii, and then they are colonizing up here, Ming Cascadia. So yes, Ming is playing the colonial game. They're colonizing like Alaska and this whole area, and they are still playing the colonial game. So that's cool. Let's see if they've added another idea group yet. They did, they went defensive, okay. 
What ideas did like Austria take? Religious offensive, and now he's got diplomatic. Zhu still has no ideas. And of course, this was uh, exploration expansion. Kazembe just got the one exploration. I feel like I'm missing countries. There was more than just this. Kara had what? Administrative offensive. Shagatai has taken defensive. Chagatai is fairly stable. Looks like they did deal with the noble situation. They still have both subjects. It is a vassal, still a vassal and a vassal. Okay. Stable enough, it looks like. We finally, finally, after quite a long time of not having a strong country. How many countries did we have in a row that were not that great? We now make 35 ducats a month. Holy smokes, we are so strong. <gasps> this is going to be fun. We have 10 years to play as Bahmanis in India. All right. Cores. We've got two cores to return here. Got lots of claims. Let's check out our alliance situation first. We're not at war. We're allied to Sindh and Delhi. Definitely a couple of the strongest people here. Bengal looks probably stronger than both of them, though. Uh, do we have truces? That's another very important factor. No. Interesting. We have no truces at all. We could go to war with Bengal right this second. And Manipur is occupying provinces. What? Manipur is occupying a lot of Bengal. A one province minor. Because Bengal is fighting Manipur in the... Oh my god, it's a coalition war. Defender against Manipur. No, okay, so that's why Manipur has all the occupations. For some reason, Manipur created a coalition. Everyone joined it. Manipur declared, and now everyone's transferring the provinces to a one province minor with a level one fort. That's hilarious. Bengal is winning this war as well. They're, they're winning it hands down. That 66 positive war score against the uh, the coalition. So Bengal was like getting too strong or something. And everyone said, no, no dog, you can't do that. It's not allowed. For some reason, we have a fleet that's not doing anything. We have heavies, which um, I'm not going to delete them straight up or anything. But I don't know that we're going to keep them. We'll see. The problem with deleting them long term is that we just know eventually... The AI is going to build more, so... So why worry about it, really? I hate when they do this, when they have no maintenance on their boats. Why don't you go protect trade in Bengal as well for now? Let's check supply. 34, 31. Let's see what kind of army we have. 15. We have a lot of cannons. This is what they like to do when they've got high income. No mercs. What ideas do we have? Is another question. Alright, so. As Bahmani. Bahmanis ideas. We've got yearly army tradition plus 0.5. Tolerance of heathens plus 3. We've got Garbians plus 10% manpower recovery speed. Yearly prestige plus 0.5. Religious unity plus 25. Extra promoted culture, some trade efficiency. We're working towards Diplo Rep, yearly legitimacy, an idea cost reduction at the very end of the ideas, which is unfortunate. And then stability cost modifier minus 10. We have humanist offensive. So we're like the most tolerant of the most tolerant people on the freaking planet. We have a total of plus 100, like we have 150% religious unity. <laughs> we are super unified in our faith, okay? We believe in whatever you believe, whatever the hell you want. It's fine, fine. Ecumenism. We we can we tolerate the crap out of he a heathens, heretics. You can believe in the spaghetti flying spaghetti monster if you want. We don't. It doesn't matter. It's fine. It is fine. And our actual religion is Shia, so we have morale of armies plus five percent. Um, that's about it. It's okay. Shia is all right. Uh, it has access to the piety system, and it should have access to the dimmy which I love, which is a great position to be in. The Dimi currently have 26% of our land. Uh, do we have any recent conquests that have like really high autonomy? Highest autonomy province is Vijayanagar at 44%. It is Hindu. That should just be controlled by the Dimi, which it is, which is fine. So we're getting full income from it. Yeah, look at that. That province is glorious. National decisions are available. Show tags which options. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We're not going to worry about that. Convert to Sikhism. No. 
policies. Don't want to turn those on. We have 1,300 ducats. We're not going to convert anything with our current country. We have peasants rising up. Why? Why would we possibly have unrest? 2.8 in Warangal. So we have unrest here because autonomy was decreased. All right, so clearly game AI. I find it odd that Bahmani had like 0% army maintenance. Interesting. Um, let's go to like 60%. Want to park a 20 stack on Warangal? We're going to get rid of the unrest. Um, and then I still need to assess, like, opportunities for attacking people and stuff. Let's see. Gujarat is allied to Jumper. Uh, or is Jumper in the war with Bengal? No. If we were to attack Bengal in our own war... Stop counter-espionaging. That's kind of silly. We've got 88 spy network strength against Bengal. Good lord. 82 with this other guy. We've claimed everything we can claim. I just want to have a lot of diplomats available right now. How are we doing on favors with our allies? Eight favors and two favors. We have four out of five relations. We do have a vassal, Habsan. Okay, he's loyal. He exists here in the province of Goa. So he's got the estuary. We have him embargoing rivals. But this is in the Goa node, which is our primary node. So our subject is making four ducats a month from trade. Without that, he would actually be losing money. Which is a good position for our subject to be in, I think. Looks like we may have just picked him up recently. Oh, revoked march status. Apparently he was a march up until recently. We have a core here. But why do we have him as a march? Why even have him? We could we could instantly integrate him in December of 49. So if it's not possible to integrate him until December of 49, that means that within the last seven months he canceled that march status. Okay, so we need to improve relations with him, which we are. We need to... I think I'm going to placate right now. I just want to instantly start getting his trade power. So we'll placate, divert trade. That money is now ours, not yours. Sorry, sir. And then beyond that, uh, Gujarat, you are probably going to have to like give me those cores like right away. Jumper would join. All right, we got to check, check, level, check tech levels. We're on tech 11, 10... 9. Our allies have 10 and 9. Bengal's on tech 11. So we have equal tech to our, our Bengali neighbor. We're rivaled with Gujarat, Jumper, Bengal. We have 3 splendor per month because we've embraced humanism. We don't own all provinces of our culture. And apparently we have prestigious conversions, which makes no sense! Why would you take prestigious conversions if you have humanism and you don't convert anything? That's freaking stupid. Like, why not take blockade strength, or war score cost versus other religions, or, I don't know, ship trade power propagation, or like, like, what? Stupid Bahmani AI. Let's mothball the heavies. And the transports. Let's build some more ships. We're over the force summit, actually. Which costs us very little. Okay. We have no claims on Mysore. Why do we not have any claims on Mysore? What the hell? Like, spy on him a little bit, please. And Andra. Andra is... Another person that, like, why Why do we not have any claims on this guy? Why do we not have any claims on Vinad? With this adjacency here. My god, this is so good! There's so many opportunities for expansion! 
Oh, it's exciting. All right, let's go with this. Let's check our advisors. Trade efficiency. Do we have a spy network guy? Take the spy network guy. Go. Um. All right, cool. All right, I think we are going to lose one of these, one of these diplomats. No, no, looks like we actually get to keep four. Cool. All right, so we should be getting this thing to decay. Eight months from now, we're safe from rebels. We've gained some CBs. We are fabricating claims. Supply limit's not very good. We have no, admiral, no, no general. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here for just a second. I'm going to go ahead and click buttons and stuff. Assess estates a little bit more. Assess things like edicts, state edicts. For some reason, we have um, the protect trade edict is on here, which, yeah, that, that does make sense, probably. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode, though. As always, thank you for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign, and I'll see you next time. See you soon.